Good morning, YouTube. I'm in downtown Dayton. It's been a while since I've covered uh, one of these videos, but this is about uh, Charles Sims and his scam and his scam developments. Last time I heard, he wanted to uh, sell these for $400,000, which is utterly ridiculous. And the reason why I find this interesting, I'm going to show you guys why. I'm grabbing one of these pamphlets here. He built some uh, townhouses about three or four blocks west of west of here a while back, and uh, called the Brownstones at Second, which is close to the, uh, which is on Second Street, close to the uh, Fifth Third Field near the steam plant. Look at this bullshit right here. Only four remaining. Price mid hundred two hundred thousand. So he can't even fucking sell. He can't even fucking sell these for fucking two hundred thousand or two hundred and fifty thousand, whatever it is. I'm pretty sure if you came in with an offer of two ten or two twenty, it would probably get accepted. But he's gonna have some, you know, egg on his face clearly. But it's funny you want to sell. And these these ones right here, thirty through over three thousand square feet, three bedrooms, two car garage. But the problem is, this is more targeted towards families. And who the hell is gonna <coughs> move in <coughs> down here when the schools utterly suck? So you know, Charles Sims, you know, said all a while back on his website oh we made a little video about oh downtown thriving hey downtown ain't thriving you stupid piece of shit you can't even fucking sell your own scam townhouses for for a two for two hundred thousand or or you know or just whatever you're wanting to sell your scam for so you flat out suck buddy and it's very interesting, you know. And this, and this, that, you know, this builder, I believe, is finished. It looks that way. Or actually, maybe not quite. Looks like they're putting in the mailboxes. But anyway, uh, yeah, this, yeah, they think they're still putting the finishing touches on the insides of these but they started the second one right here which I think these are all going to be the same and it looks like there's room for three potentially four of these so I, I you know I would love to know who the hell is going to spend $400,000 on a fucking townhouse in downtown Dayton which is utterly stupid he can't even sell his own ones for two hundred thousand dollars or two fifty or whatever, which anything over a hundred thousand dollars in the city you pay, you're a freaking lunatic and you fucking need your head examined. So my solution to people like Charles Sims is, instead of championing the city from the suburbs, you know this guy lives in um, West Carrollton. Why don't you move back to the city instead of you know championing Dayton? from the suburbs if you really think all downtown is thriving why don't you move back to Dayton or to the city you know put the city on the path to prosperity by proving that hey that you really want to be part of that so called renaissance by uh, actual being a resident of the city not a resident of the suburbs but anyway this just goes to show you that this is a that these are failed developments, you know. Plus, he also has one other that is ongoing, uh, two right now, in uh, close to the temporary library near Howard Music Building. There's that's just dirt right now, and there was also some news a few months ago on the news in Beaver Creek that he wanted to put a new development in Beaver Creek, but the residents there did not want 
did not want it. They did not want their country land being disturbed. So this, so this guy's got a real crooked history of forcing unwanted developments. And Charles Sims, you are an utter piece of fucking shit. If you want to help the city, move back here. You know, I definitely would love to know if there's any way to find out just how much these actually sell for when it comes that time. I'm not sure if that information is, is I'm not sure if that information is available to the public or not with the housing value of the each unit, but anyway, I'm going to wrap it up on this one, but I just thought I would give this an update because it's been a while since I gave this a, you know, since I've done a video about the scam artist, but that's it for this one.